Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, Pete Game. I guess I just got to be the one to put this out there because I talked about this in my um, live stream. As I said before, I want to make this very clear. I don't have no personal vendetta against Floyd. I don't have no personal vendetta against nobody in the realm of boxing. So when I say something, it's just my own personal opinion. I'm not doing it out of rage, hate, having a grudge. I'm just keeping it 100. I'm just voicing my opinion. And um, I saw something that Floyd did in Tank's post-fight press conference that like really irritated me. And it was kind of annoying. And I didn't understand why Floyd like said what he said. But at the end of the day, Floyd always seemed to find a way to make something about him. At the end of the day, he is Tank's promoter. And yes, of course, we want to hear him speak. But at the end of the day, we want to be able to hear from Tank. And we want to be able to ask certain questions. And Floyd kind of went off on the media for basically doing their job and following boxing protocol by asking questions to Tank that every boxing media reporter always asks a fighter. You know, and I was just like, like Floyd, do you got to make everything about you? But now that's going to be the new narrative now. Now you're going to have fighters scared to ask I mean, excuse me, now you're going to have media members scared to ask fighters certain questions now pertaining to a post-fight, you know, analysis or, you know, uh, future fight analysis or questions. And basically they ask Tank, well, what do Tank want to do next? Who does Tank want to fight next? And Floyd jump up, being Floyd trying to bring the, the attention to itself um why is it that people always ask that question like what do a fighter want to do next you know he just won um let him celebrate with his family so now you got so now from now on people gonna ask or be scared to ask the fighter what do he want to do next which they were just doing their job first of all tank don't have a schedule like the nfl or major league baseball or nhl or the NFL. See, the Raiders know who they next game is against. The Pittsburgh Steelers know who they next game is against. So that's why most people ask boxers those type of questions. It's a legit question. They was just following protocol. Of course we want to know who do you want to fight next because there are certain fights we want to see. And then Floyd tries to dictate and suppress the media for basically doing their job. And that's the irritating thing about Floyd. Like, good grief, what are you supposed to ask the man? Because if you said, hey, Tank, um, you know, who are you dating? Or, you know, or something like that, then you'll be like, well, wait a minute, that's personal. It was a boxing question. They've always asked fighters, well, who do you want to fight next? So now Floyd trying to dictate and bully the media into asking questions that he want them to ask. And if I was if I was at that press conference, he probably would have kicked me out. I would have said, well, Floyd, well, what kind of questions do you want us to ask the man? That's, tra that's tradition, it's protocol. Now they, they had limited media there, but I'm just saying, man, why do Floyd always got to make everything about him? Like I said, you supposed to ask him, who do we want to fight next? When can we see him? So now we can't ask the dude, who do we want to fight next? When can we see him? And what, what are we supposed to ask him then? We don't know when we gonna see Tank fight again. So we ask guys those questions so we could get prepped for when we see him again. It's no time frame. It's no schedule when Tank is going to come back. We may not see Tank sometime to next summer. And Floyd getting an attitude or going on a, a on a on an unnecessary rant. I mean, stop it.
I mean, for real, man, just stop it, man. That shit is like annoying with Floyd when he do that stuff. Like once again, what was, what, what, what was they supposed to ask Tank? Tank, what kind of car you drive? You know, Tank, you going to the bar? You know what I'm saying? What's up? Where's the after party at? So I'm just saying for Floyd to sit up there and cut the media off, but then Floyd knew it was limited media. And we all knew them dudes wasn't gonna challenge Floyd. Floyd knew everybody who was there. So basically, cause basically Floyd handpicked all those people. So basically if they would have challenged Floyd, Floyd would have been like, hey, hey, don't bring him back. He ain't coming back. See, last year you could have got away, you know, last year you could have got away with that kind of stuff because more than likely he wouldn't have knew who you was and what your media outlet was. But all those people Floyd brought there, he knew them. Ellie was there, Marcos was there, Ben Thompson was there. Floyd have uh, personal relationships with all those cats. So he know them personally. So like I said, if anybody would have asked Floyd a tough question or tried to challenge him, he would have been like, oh yeah, man, yeah, man, he he gone, man. Don't bring him back. So yeah, Floyd need to cut that shit out, man, and stop like trying to bully and intimidate the media and stuff, man. They was just doing their job. They were supposed to ask Floyd and tank those kind of questions. Like I said, what's wrong with asking somebody who they want next? That don't make no sense. You getting all up, like for real. Floyd just wanted to have a moment and make it about Floyd. And that's really what it was all about. And Floyd need to cut that shit out, man. Real talk. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.